I could also grab price progress and kill Tex. <laughs> I mean, mm, five I dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my new uh, Zinder Split No Coon Chaos coin flip deck. It's all oops, all coin flip cards, basically, even the bad ones. Um, and I'm actually tutoring. We're using Gamble right now for Chance Encounter which if you're not familiar is an alternate win con card, which is whenever you win a coin flip, put a luck counter on chance, count, chance encounter. At the beginning of your upkeep, if chance encounter has 10 or more luck counters on it, you win the game. Oh. Uh, all right, so I've got a lot of cards in hand. You need like a pop matic bubble. I do. Yes, yeah. that would be all great. All I have are these pennies. Like I didn't bring a coin for the deck, so I've got these pennies, which were, Actually, I guess a little bit sentimental value. Uh, MC Frontalot handed them to me and went, these are worth an entire half dollar. And like handed it to me and I almost gave him one of our half dollars. I don't know, I believe. Oh! Hey! Oh, wait. I have never seen I owe you ice cream. But also, oh, thank you. Sick. Here you go. festival dedicated to this soda in Maine. So, Corey said that it's the, the phrase, like, yeah. I like your moxie. That comes, comes from that. You got moxie. From this. Yes. yes. Moxie. <laughs> Apparently, it's soda that is good for a sore throat, which sounds like a lie. It does have a unique taste. It does have a unique taste. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> gentian root. Gen gentian root? Gentian. I've never heard of that. <laughs> it's a unique New England experience. Nowhere else does this. And we had to serve it from the aluminum can like God intended. It's good, honestly. It's manufactured by Coca-Cola now. Yeah. They bought it out. Does your throat feel better? It, it does a bit. Yeah. <laughs> it feels a little bit better. There you go. I'll have to rewatch this footage and see if my voice sounds different in the beginning and the end. There's gonna, it's gonna be you later tonight just being like, like with no throat, being like, they lied. They lied. It's a trap. I, I can accept that. I should do like that TikTok cam, like, where I just drain the whole can and then belch myself to death. <laughs> Thank you. over. The time for terrible voices is here. Uh, Sarah and Joe and I are going to get some manner of food before I apparently have to do an improv panel. I can't wait to see how this goes. Oh, it's really cold out here and most of the food trucks have closed. 
but there's a couple and there's one that has tiny empanadas so that's what I've got that's what Joe got <clears throat> Sarah's waiting to get a bon me from a different truck they call this the lawn on D because it's on D Street D, D, it's on D Street and it's AstroTurf this whole thing is a lie cold as shit it's so cold I don't like it the food trucks are leaving it's so cold how you doing I don't want oh no what happened so I as you can see I have about this much coffee in my my coffee cup uh-huh I had a nap and then I wanted some coffee to wake myself up and uh, I, I started the coffee machine, I put the water in, put the, put the stuff in, and then uh, pressed the button and walked away from it. Uh, I forgot a key ingredient oh to no. it, which was the cup. Oh uh, no. And the coffee machine is resting in a tray, so there was a tray full of hot coffee. <laughs> I took some of the coffee from the tray and poured it in my cup. Uh, the rest of it was not so fortunate and got spilled on the carpet a little bit. but. I have some coffee now. Wow. I wanted to take a picture of my deck from the uh, Mystery Booster draft today, but there was nowhere, there's no surface in the hotel room to lay out the deck. Uh, but luckily, uh, we have an ironing board. So. Did you see the cosplayers huddling together for warmth, waiting for their lift at the end of a day of packs? I feel like that's just like the convention like decorum you know like yeah the the cosplayers bundle up for warmth it's like it's like the night before christmas kind of a thing like, mm -hmm. the cosplayers were bundled up with their capes with care yeah circle of life there's just so many of them with bare legs yep <laughs> the poor poor cosplayers no one in japan designing these ridiculous scantily clad anime girls ever thinks but what if a real human wants to dress like this in Boston? Yeah. <laughs> so that's D, as I mentioned. There's another road four blocks that way. And it's just A Street. It's, it's, it's a street. All right. I was waiting for a second part of that, and it didn't no, come. No, because it's A, B, C, and D. Yeah. And I assume there's an E Street as well. But it's, you look at the sign, and it just says a street. And you're like, <laughs> they probably run out. What? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to Ben Talk, We're featured here on the G Vlogs. This is a section that'll happen only once. Uh, today we're talking about escalators. What's up with them? Are they stairs? Are they elevators in disguise? We don't know. Is there a transformer named after escalators? We don't know. There should be. Anyways, thank you so much for coming to Ben Talk. We hope you had fun. Um, subscribe. Uh, dingle the bell. Um, check out uh, the Patreon. Uh, we added a feet tier uh, at the $200 mark because we discovered that we had our feet out a lot and that's just money on the table. One part of that is untrue. You be the judge. You be, you decide. <laughs> Choose wisely. Pat Bear, what's happening? Um, so we've got the Improvised Postmortem, which I'm excited about. Uh, Graham, I'm excited you're doing it. I wish your voice was at 100. Uh, me too. Um, yeah, but uh, we've gotten all panelists, except for one, have at least checked in with me, which is great, because we're letting medical in right now, and then the, whoever shows up to come see it, it is also being streamed, which I always appreciate. Oh, uh, boy. Because it means that people who can't come to Boston can see it. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, so hopefully you that's, watched that's this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are there any animals? I mean, right. well, thanks for having me. I'm Thank excited for being here. Yeah. People are going to come up to this podium. I'm going to give them the name of a fake video game. And they don't know ahead of time what that game is. They're going to discover it along with you. And they're going to talk to you, the audience, for a couple of minutes as if they made that game. It's a post-mortem. Uh, it's like what would happen at GDC if it does happen this year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It has been postponed. They just canceled it. Oh, did it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, damn, that joke worked better an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> and that's thing number it's, one. It's, it's like what would have happened at GDC if it was going to happen. There, the, there's the replacement joke. I'll edit that later. Uh, like, all the character models, were, they looked amazing, 
and photorealistic if you were trying to photorealistically recreate some sort of glistening sex alien. (laughs) Which maybe is a thing, and if we'd been marketing the game differently, you know, it would have worked out. But we were just trying to make a wrestling game, and these just, these fucking Cronenberg beasts (laughs) with breasts for ears just... I don't know who was supposed to be monitoring the art department, but obviously they failed. <laughs> and, and I cannot understate how astonishing, like, the perfection that was put into making things that should not be seen. Uh, we did a panel. Yeah, that was a super fun panel. Yeah. Now I don't, I'm not obligated to talk for the rest of the week. Yeah, I, I could translate for you. Perfect. Oh man, I'm getting like Pax Oz flashbacks. Sorry, just the, I said I said this thing like <laughs> Ben said I've never been to Jimmy John's, yeah. and I was just like, oh, I guess I'll turn on the camera. Yeah, what's Jimmy John's about? It's a sandwich. Place, right? it's, just, it's a sandwich shop. Okay. Is it like Subway? Yeah. Or is it like Quiznos? Or is it like Mr. Sub? Uh, one of those, yeah. They got they got free smells. Oh. You want some smells? Yeah. I can Don't worry. About a good smell. Smells is free. Free oh, smells. The smells you can eat. <laughs> oh, the smells you'll go. What? <laughs> you can get some Jimmy Chips. Oh, and they've also got thinny chips. Yeah, with reduced fat. Ones. Yeah, real healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And what was the... What was the beefy jeefy from Starbucks? That's what it reminds me of. They had turkey jerky. Right. So we decided it should be beefy jeefy. <laughs> we should... We missed our calling. Look, we're geniuses. <laughs> I, th- I thought I was very clever because uh, I didn't. I realized I didn't want like a Coke, and uh, but they had lemonade, and then beside it they had unsweetened iced tea. So I made an Arnold Palmer. Oh. And it's 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 good. This, by the way, is a small. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy was like, "You want small or large?" And I'm like. That's it. That, those are the options, huh? Small and large. All right. Small then, please. Because I saw both. He, he pointed to the cups. He was like, you want small or large? And I looked at the cups, and they were the same size as far as I could tell. <laughs> That's where he grabs the, you go large, and goes, okay. And starts pulling, and the cup just doesn't end. Like, there's this big fucking, like, magician's, like, scarf coming out of the sleeve. Jesus. 